1600 metres. Start to hit the lever, run a centre on their way from the 1600 and untidy beginning this one. Alice Nardo, one of the first out of the gates. Poise is strong, going off to lead them. They are followed by Ice Gem, that's got a good position. Longer Barnes, the widest of all. That's with the black cap. Further back in the running at this stage is Wind Trader and Judd's Express is near the rail. Attitude's about six or seven lengths off the leader. Then comes Roy's Platinum Claret Cup. Delilah's further back in the run and then comes Placid Sea. They stretched out about 12, 13 lengths and Poise is the leader. Was strong in the early stages. Ice Gem is there with Star Traction. Alice Nardo's near the rail, only two lengths off the lead. Further back in the run is Wind Trader, Judge Express is near the rail, Longabon on the outside, then Latitude, then Royce Platinum, that's about seven lengths off the leader, then Delilah, Claret Cup, and then Placid Sea. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go, and Poise continues to lead. Star Traction second, Alice Nardo between the two of them. Ice Gem on the outside, Judd's Express needs some running room. They're followed by the attitude. Poise is gone now as they come to the 300, Alice Nardo. And Judd's Express now throws out the challenge. Wind Trader Latitude, but Judd's Express hit the front. And it's Judd's Express. Alice Nardo tries to come back for more, but it's Judd's Express by half. Latitude. Attitude's running on on the outside, but it's going to go to Judge Express, and Judge Express has won it. Latitude second, Alice Nardo and Wind Trader. Number six, Judge Express, the Judd part, Duncan Owls. For Mr. and Mrs. Lennington, who also bred Lennington and Sons, pick up right for Anthony Del Pesce. Just needed a bit of luck in running when they turned for home, needed the gap, and then took it over. They tried to throw out challenges, but Judd's Express, with their blinkers on, goes on to win by just under two. The attitude from a wide draw, very nice run back in second. Third, number eight, Alice Nardo, which is the tote favourite. The fourth position, Win Trader, that's number seven. So we continue to run it. The winner, number six, Judge Express, four round 20, the win. Delilah is next in the run. It was a well-strung outfield. And then came Placid Sea, Longer Barn, Star Attraction, as we continue to run it. And then Roy's Platinum. And they were followed by Ice Gem. So Judge Express sneaks throughout the rail. And Alice Nardo tries to throw out the challenge. The blinkers of Wind Trader, White Sleeves and Cap of Latitude. But Judge Express, number six, six time at the track, goes on to score. Poise was pulled out of the race. Something amiss there. But it goes to number six, Judge Express. Until the running of the fourth race, back to the studio. A nice result for trainer Duncan Owls, for owner Mr. Lennington here, and a chance ride for jockey Del Peso. We spare a thought for jockey Muzieni, who had a fall yesterday uh, at the Val. And I hope you are relaxing and nursing yourself back to health, Muzi. But uh, this filly has come to, to win a good race, Duncan. Firstly, well done uh, fitting those blinkers on. It, it seemed to have. Uh, Helped her a lot. It has. Uh, you know, she took interference a couple of runs back, and it was her last run I noticed. She came to go through with her run. Horses crowded her, and she hesitated. And Muzi battled to get her going. We discussed it. We worked her with the blinkers at home. She put up very good work. And I was quite confident she'd just about win tonight. She's come through well. And uh, anything else from your side later on, Duncan? He's got the king's hand. He's a little bit of a... lets us down every now and again. But, you know, he's a horse that could surprise on the... Uh, when he's at his best and let's hope he can do that and uh, also well done to the owner mr lennington yes well done to basil he's in australia now and thank you very much to anthony for riding the horse fantastic well played and thanks to our sponsors winning form well done to duncan owls and as i mentioned whilst we spare a thought for muzi who had that fall yesterday at the val it was a chance ride for jockey del Pesce. 
first time you've sat on this horse and uh, well, you didn't know him without the blinkers, but he's come to to win a good race, or she's come to to win a good race. Yeah, Dang said that the blinkers definitely may, makes a difference, you know, because she got interfered the uh, run before last and got a bit scared in the race, and I think she just lost a little bit of confidence and put the blinkers and helped her travel in the race nicely. I came out all right, but I got bumped on my outside, so I didn't really want to be that far back. I actually wanted just one horse to lead me. But turning to the straight, I had the favourite in front of me and I was going a half pace behind it. I was just hoping when I get there she doesn't look around a little bit, but I think the blinkers did the trick and well done to Dunks and you know I haven't had a ride for him for a long time, I really appreciate it. Before you leave us, what about the balance of your rides this evening, Anthony? Well, I think I'm, I've got a very competitive card and uh, I think uh, for the Panthers following me, just I think both go each way. But if you're to single out your next best for the guys at jackpot time next? Uh, guy from Dubai, I think he'll run a big race today. Thanks for that, Bonds, all the best. Thanks very much to my sponsor, Aventure, well done. Anthony Delpes, number six, Judd's Express, and uh, Muzi, get well soon, six, four, eight, and seven. That's the way they finished race number three. Coming up next will be the start of uh, the jackpot. Race number four at 19.55, which is five to eight.